Hello chess lovers, Sorvent here and in today's video we are going to analyze another exciting attacking game. This game is from 2023 Champions Chester Final. American chess grandmaster Fabiano Caruana is playing against Iranian now French chess grandmaster Ali Reza Firuzja. Before starting the game an interesting fact about Firuzja. He's the youngest player to have surpassed the FIDE rating of 2800 beating the previous record set by Magnus Carlsen by more than 5 months. With this being said, now let's go for the game. Ok, this was a rapid game and Kiran opened up with e4 to which we have e5 answer. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, Italian game and Black is choosing two knights defense, inviting knight g5 but Kirana didn't enter uh, those sharp lines and instead he kept the game in the lines of Gioco Pianissimo he will opt for long maneuvers and will try to build up a slow pressure. If you remember in my previous video we have already seen two knights defense by Black. It was a game by Gareev which he won in a dramatic style. Ok, the players are still following their theory. As you know modern chess is all about theory. It stretches in some cases up to the end game takes takes and now once this uh, rook is appearing on the sixth rank it really gives black nice attacking chances yay uh, later you will see how black will switch the rook into the attack there it goes already black is freeing the g6 square for the rook 97 or queen d7 had been seen earlier as more popular alternatives but looks like that knight h5 is also good and I'm more than sure that Firuzja is still in his preparations. There comes the second knight, he's bringing the queenside knight to f4, white took under control the f4 square but anyways knight g f4 landed. Here of course white can play king h2 but Kirana decided to accept the challenge. The peace sacrifice is accepting and now as if he wants to say his opponent prove that you are right, prove that you can justify your knight sacrifice. Knight e3, this pawn is also hanging right, knight e3 blocking the bishop's diagonal, there comes the queen hitting on h1 and knight g1, a very dubious move, better was playing knight f5. But this is a crazy line suggested by engine, you have to give up this pawn, then be ready to meet bishop g3 check with king h1, if knight give up this pawn as well and then play queen c2. According to Stockfish white is holding but Kirana decided to play knight g1 and stepped into another ferocious move, rook takes g1. Black removed the defender and now this pawn is going to drop. Queen takes h3, c5. This is already a mistake. Better was queen g4. If bishop e3 then takes and then king g2, check. King f3 takes, takes. Knight d3, king f3. This is a forced line and in the end of the day we have such a position where maybe black has a slight edge but yeah. This is of course better than entering, than allowing black to proceed with the attack. c5, as if trying to block this bishop, but there comes the h-pawn. Rook e2, rook e8, Firuja is playing an excellent chess, guys. And finally this rook drops, queen e2, and there comes the queenside rook. White is in a hopeless situation, guys. Queen f1, h4. Yeah, in order to intensify the pin, there is no way out. A5 is another very nice move. Trying to activate this dark squared bishop. Bishop c3, queen g4. Frank the h3 square for the pawn. h3, white down pinned the knight, but there lands h3. Knight e3, queen f4 check. King h1, queen f3. King h2 here, black repeated the moves to gain some extra moves, extra time, sorry, and d takes c5, finally takes, check, king h2, bishop takes c5, 
And now since the threat is bishop takes c3, then check. White played queen h1, but even this can't remedy the situation. He left the pawn on f2 unprotected and it resigned after queen f2. If here, then... Oh, sorry, there is mate in one. Here we go. Enough is enough after queen f2 check we have a resignation. A very, very impressive victory by Alireza Firuzja. He is a very dynamic player and if you allow him to get an attacking position you can find yourself in trouble. In the end the chess problem for you, the task is to mate in two. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.